Hey guys, it's Will coming at you with a, uh, a video here. And we're doing a quick little update here on part of our Apex series. If you guys haven't seen it, there's videos in the in the playlist that this video is going to be in. But I've, I'm glad to come to you with the uh, conclusion to it. And basically besides that, it's just the buildings left to do. And for those who may be interested in the game, um, I will be playing it on Tabletop Simulator as a video, explaining how to play and stuff. But the game is up for pre-order right now on the Glass Cannon uh, games. Make sure you search up Glass Cannon games, because it will bring up a different site if you don't. Uh, the game is up for pre-order on there, so you guys can buy it. It's coming out um, early next year, slash middle of spring next year, allegedly. We all know how Kickstarter stuff goes. But anyways, so in this video, we're going to take a look at the finished product that I have here. So here we have the paper. This is stuff I've been printing out. This is just, you know, building in the walls left to foam up. Uh, the reason why I'm building the buildings instead of, you know, just using Warhammer Train or it still works on a board game principle. So there is a board that will be made for this. I'm just going to be using a, um, a Chezex dice map and drawing out like the squares because it's a 40 mil game. So it does use squares. The boards are really nice. Uh, they have that cool little sort of, not full line graded, but like little like plus signs in every corner. So you can, you know, anywho. <laughs> so this is a tray that I'm using from Star Wars Legion, the starter box that. So here we go. We have all this stuff has been printed out and uh, hodgepodged onto foam. So we have the, you know, version of the turn order board. We have our to hit modifiers with our uh, tokens for what you get for dropping in. We have our primary stuff, so our team, our round counter, our printed respawn beacons, our to hit modifier deck, which is right here. We have our ring moving symbol. I didn't print any rings because I don't have any of the rings just because we're gonna, you know, draw them on the map. Our board here for our storage. Then we get to the funner spot stuff here. We have, I made baggies for each of them. So we have the Bangalore the Bangalore uh, cards. We have Bloodhound. We have Wraith. Our random select of items. Our lifeline. Our Gibrato. Uh, then we have our giant pile of cards for our weapons. Then we have, in these baggies, we have our commons. Uh, normally when you play this, you're gonna use a, uh, a bag that's not see-through, because it's randomly drawn, but all the commons are in here. And then we have our commons, uncommons, and rares in here. And at the bottom here, of all these minis, we have our backpacks. They're a lot easier to see in person. The Mod Podge with the ink and stuff kind of, you know, smudge them up. And then last but not least, as you guys have seen in those other videos, we have our miniatures. So we have our... Come on. We have our Loba. We have our ba um, Bangalore, which this is the actual scale of the miniature. This is what they're going to be like. What do you get them? So keep that in mind. We have our Bloodhound, our, our Gibby, and our Wraith. Now the models that I've printed for playing are actually a lot smaller than what they're supposed to be because this game is actually, this is small. I think the only things that will actually be to scale for when it comes out is the Bangalore and these tokens, I believe they're actually gonna be the size. This board is gonna be a lot bigger. Um, 
these cards are going to be a lot bigger. So it's just this is a smaller table size just to play the beta test rules until the actual board game comes out, which then I'll do a full deep dive in because I bought I bought the uh, the big old everything all in bundle. So we're definitely going to flip through that when it comes in next year. But this is it, guys. This is the basically the board game made. I'm going to be converting the squares, I'm going to do measurements and stuff, and I'm going to be measuring them into um, inches and centimeters and stuff, so that it can be played more like a traditional like war game, uh, just because limitations of terrain and stuff we have. Uh, when I do make the buildings, they're not going to be exactly to scale with the pictures I printed out, the pictures are just there to represent what it is. The buildings themselves are going to be built to represent actual height. And the square size for the basing so that models can fit. The nice thing about it is there's no true line of sight, it's just point to point, kind of like Zombicide. So we'll have that built. And yeah, with that, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this journey with watching this me make these. I know I was supposed to be making these on streams, but I just been having a rough time, and now I'm finally on vacation. I can just relax for the week and just enjoy myself and i'll be feeling all much better with that and yeah if you guys like the series please let me know down below i need an idea for next year maybe i just paint two armies for bolt action and we start playing or maybe with the, when the board king does come in maybe we run a little tournament or something or we paint all the models in it every week do a painting of sorts but let me know down below guys what you want to see kind of like what i can do i'll see if i can do it if i have the money time or interest in it like if i collect that stuff already it'll be much easier for me than getting into something fresh space limitation all that but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this and we will see you guys next time i do a video i'm gonna go enjoy my vacation i have some models and videos and stuff already halfway uh recorded i just gotta finish the other half which requires me building and priming stuff so with that we will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Click the video. Click it. Click the video. You know you want to.